Alright, this game. I've had to think a lot about this move. So, in this game, we just had this big trade where he uh, sent a, uh, a premated chieftain down and blew up a bunch of my guys on the back line. Um, and, uh... So that's why he was able to get my spy so easily is because we were I was recovering from that trade. Um, I'm in decent shape this game, ish. I mean I'm not I wouldn't call myself behind. Uh, I lost a heavy, and I lost um, a respawn token, and I'm gonna lose a spy, and he's gonna lose the he's gonna lose the chieftain. He's gonna um, he's he's already lost a warrior. But he hasn't really spent many consumables, um, but it, it's just one of those games where uh, it's still pretty early. Um, what I really want to do is I want to do something like this and force him to try and revive that warrior, um, basically get a better trade for um, for the spy. But uh, in, in that case, it's very dangerous because if he has two tidal waves, he can move the um, the medic here. And he can move the medic here. And then he can two shot um, with this uh, witch. And then the spy would end up here. And then the corpse explosion on the medic on this square here would actually kill the spy as well. Um, and I basically wouldn't be able to get a return kill on this witch. It would be worth it actually if... Um, if I could get the witch for free in exchange, like it would be like two tidal waves and uh, and a plus two witch for a medic and uh, and a spy and well and, and the warrior obviously, which I'd be okay with that under most most circumstances. But um, since I couldn't get the witch without burning a Jurati, which I don't even have, um, it's actually really bad. Um, and the odds that he has two tidal waves in his hand is um, pretty reasonably high, um, and so it's just really it's really greedy to play like that um, when I'm going to lose the spy anyway. Um, I. It's one of those things where um, I have this end game on this map in this matchup where I will go. Um, I really like to just park two medics, like here and here, or maybe one here, and then just double link up with a um, with a demo man and just go ham on this middle crystal and splash damage everything in this area. Um, that's like my preferred method of winning because it's really really hard to stop. Um, and it's just it's my go-to game plan. And if I do a move where I'm potentially putting a medic on the line, um, even even though I really don't want to give up that spy, um, I'm putting my entire game plan at risk. Whew. So instead, I want to damage him so that if he keeps him up here, I can take him next turn. I, I can also use the pyro to, um, you know, take him out. But, jeez, that got loud all of a sudden. Calm down. Okay. Um, yeah, if I use the, the pyro, then I'm giving up the sandwich. And the sandwich is like my entire map control. Because you basically can't put units both here and here, because I'll get a two for one. Um, so I'm locking him down really hard, which is pretty sweet. Um, and I, I don't want to give that up, even though I could basically get the trade for the warrior. It's like, would you trade a sandwich for a plus zero warrior? Eh, not really. So as much as it annoys me, I think I'm just going to have to give up on that plan. So instead, I want to... If I upgrade and put this medic in the tactile, I can heal the soldier to full in a single shot. And then, um, 
one thing I could do is I could uh, basically set up a link with this uh, medic here and send him to like this square linked on the attack tile to, um, to get really efficient damage on that uh, axe thrower. That could be a path. Um, I do need to snipe him so that if he attacks, it's an easy kill. He could take out my engineer if he wanted to next turn and basically force me to give him rage again, which wouldn't necessarily be a bad trade. Um, but um, but if, if he does that anyway, then I'm, I'm going to kill it, no problem. I want him to push it back. I want him to go back, though. But I also really want to... Um, there's, like, a bunch of things I have to do. One thing I have to do is I have... If I move this medic here, I have to deploy a unit here. Because otherwise, he can just tidal wave me right here. And bring up... Probably get my engineer for free. And he'd push my sandwich pyro back on my deploy tile. And probably make me waste the sandwich. So I have to put something here, like absolutely have to put something there to prevent him from pushing uh, the pyro back. I've been really careful up to this point to always keep that tile blocked um, so that he doesn't punish me that way. Um, and then I need to heal him up to full. He needs to be full, otherwise I won't be able to link him. Um, but the problem is that I can't... See, if I link him right now, then he has to uh, move this axe thrower or I can um, I can go one, two, three, four, and stomp with the uh, with the soldier, and then I'd probably sack the uh, the soldier, and uh, and retreat the, uh, the my retreat my soldier um I get his axe or sack my scout and then retreat my soldier. Sorry about the confusion. Um, Which would be nice, because axe throws are really scary in this matchup. But if I um, if I link him, then I can't both do damage to this warrior and deploy a unit here, um, which really sucks. I really want to be able to do that, so I may. I may need to just not link the soldier yet. Yeah, I probably need to just wait. I could still KO it next turn. Um, Then that just uh, so I, I feel like I've pretty much settled on my path of action here. Um, the only decision left is uh, what to actually deploy on this tile here. What to actually deploy there? Oh, that's a tough decision. Um, I'm down a heavy. I probably don't want to do a pyro. Could be a spy, maybe. Because I really like the synergy of having the spy up top and then also having the pyro here. Because it's like. How can you ever take this tile with a unit? Because if you um, if you take it and then don't cover this spot, then the spy comes in and just murders it. But if you do, then the pyro comes in and gets two for one. So I'm thinking it might be a spy. Spies are also just good in general for um, for clogging this tile and that tile against uh, pickoffs from the the witch. Huh. 
trying to think of like before you lock in a move in a league game, you always want to think about what's his obvious next move. If I were him, I might I might kill the engineer with a warrior. Um, I, I'm actually happy giving him that trade because that would allow me to advance my um, oh, loud noises. Alright, um, that would allow me to advance my spy up here, which would be pretty nice. Um, something else he might do... is he might come here with the axe thrower and hit that three times and then retreat. That would definitely be an acceptable play for him. Kind of like giving up your uh, warrior though, but. Let's see how much does this sniper do? Oh. It was uh, 280 and then another 280 next turn um, would bring it down to uh, 440, 240. Yeah, so if he doesn't heal it next turn, then a snipe and a barbed crystal shot will take it out. So it's actually two, two AP to KO with the snipe, which is pretty nice. It's a nice uh, round number there. Um, so if he if he does that, then okay, I lose my scout. This axe thrower is causing a lot of problems for me because if I give him rage and just go one, two, meat kill and stomp. Um, so if he forces me to kill this warrior, I need to have something to go here in order to block him from doing that. So if he does kill this, then my move would be um, soldier link here and attack attack. Does that sequence work out for me in the, the medium run? Let's see, what would his move be? He could uh, get Tidal Wave from there and save it. Trade Tidal Wave for Soldier. Mm. This is a tough square for me. The square is dangerous because he can Tidal, tidal Wave me and, and the switch. Hmm, that's kind of crappy. Kind of crappy. If he does that, then I could. Um, could go one, two, and then three, four to stop. Oh, I can actually move him back. I have an extra AP. What am I doing? <laughs> Wait, this is, I'm making this way harder on myself than I need to. And then I could do like 4-5, or five, something like this. And then that would be safe. And then I could save... Uh, and 
The nice thing is that he can't really bring this witch forward because this pyro is just waiting. That's a little dangerous. Um, I would actually, uh, it might be even better to. Hmm. This is a tough sequence, potentially, still. Thinking about, like, if I do that, the move, let's say he trades for um, the scout, and then he. Um, then I have to clear his uh, warrior. So my engineer ends up either here or here, and my soldier ends up here. Um, what happens if he um, basically uses a tidal wave to uh, pull this witch forward? You have to pull everything forward, though. So this soldier would come forward. So tidal wave, move, meet. No, that wouldn't work because I could do link, move here. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is safe. This is not obviously wrong, at least. I think this is safe in the, in the long run. There goes nothing. Sandwich. Okay, that's a good item to draw. 